Scotland. This nation brought the world television, whiskey, and of course, me. When you do something that sort of suddenly takes on a life of its own, I think um, is 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 a very surprising thing when your work goes out of here, if you like, to, to out there, you know, and, and suddenly you, you are, you're in a situation where I, I've often felt that um, because you do something that sort of works to some degree, people then sort of seem to think you have a lot of other answers, which, um, which I really don't find to be true, you know, I mean... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's an accident, isn't it, that works out like that? It, it very much is. I mean, you know, it, otherwise, we'd be doing it every you know, all the time. Just keep repeating it all the time. If you, yeah. you knew that if there was a sort of formula that you could come up with to produce those big moments, you would do it. But um, you stumble on them, you know, and you're as in the dark as anybody else as to where they come from. I, I've often felt that um, because you do something that sort of works to some degree, people then sort of seem to think you have a lot of other answers, which um, which I really don't find to be true, you know. I mean, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's an accident, isn't it, that works out like that? It, it very much is. I mean, you know, it, otherwise, we'd be doing it every you know, all the time. Just keep repeating it all the time. If you, yeah. if you knew if there was a sort of formula that you could come up with to produce those big moments, you would do it, but um, you stumble on them. You know, and you're as in the dark as anybody else as to where they come from. I don't do the sparring anymore because um, younger guys have got so, you know, their hand speed is just so much faster than you, so you're just going to get hit constantly in the face and head. And uh, it's not, you know, I mean, I do need this kind of head to be in a reasonable state. There is no real good or bad work. So I, I feel that what I do is a representation of where I'm at at that point in time, and I'm not going to, you know, beat myself up that it wasn't this or it wasn't that. I, I'm trying to sort of, you know, like you say, not overthink it, but but be present and and uh, alert when I'm doing it, but but enjoy what I'm doing in in the fact that like okay, this is me now at 50 years of age. You know, that was me then at 35. You know, and whatever I do, if I'm still here at 65, is going to be is going to be that, and it's going to be hopefully exciting and valid. But it doesn't matter whether somebody sees it that way or not. You know, the work has got to be coming from yeah. there. You know, it's got to be where you're coming from at, at that point in time in your life, and it's it's kind of that's why it's it's some it's ludicrous when people say, "Oh, that this is the book you should have written, or the yeah. album you should have written, and all that," because it just doesn't. It, it can never yeah. work like that. You can only do the one you're actually doing at the time. I was physically going out and kind of raving and sort of eat up off my nut, sort of all night dancing around, and then coming back home. And just really inspired by all the kind of weird conversations I've had and the people I've met and the things I've been up to, up to. And I'd just be hammering out words, just banging out words with this kind of rhythm still pounding in my head. Taking a, just using Requiem for a Dream as an example, you know, the, the large parts of that and then probably the main theme that people know from that were written at a time when absolutely nobody was interested in any ideas I had whatsoever, you know. When I started to write other novels, I kind of took it further. I wanted to get a kind of effects on top of the beats. You know, that was that was my kind of beats, really, and I wanted to get a kind of effects on top of the beats. So I started doing a lot of typographical experiments, and like mainly in Marabou Stock Nightmares and Filth and um, the Acid House, but in some other novels as well, you know. So that was kind of, that was purely a musical product of being so immersed in that scene. That's why the books kind of, um, that's why I think the books had that kind of energy. It was pretty unique in writing at the time.